Well, hello everybody. Another drone flight from this uh, early winter's uh, trip down to central and southern Utah. And this is a, a place uh, about 20 miles south of Hanksville known as Little Egypt. Uh, I'm not sure what the origin of the name is, but in a few minutes you'll maybe get a, a glimpse as to why. So this area is actually a lot larger than I thought it was when I was planning this trip, so uh, I don't get to cover the whole thing, but um, I think you get an idea of it. So coming in, and that formation to the right, look at the top of it. That is a very sphinx-like looking uh, head, which may well be how this place got its name, but I don't know for sure. These uh, formations are actually known as hoodoos. And uh, this area, Goblin Valley and many other places in Utah, have these uh, hoodoo formations. And you can see my car there towards the top center right so there's a, a series of these kind of fins that are weathering to produce these kind of hoodoo formations and again the the area is a larger with more of these hoodoos than i had anticipated before coming here I've driven by this place probably more than a dozen times without stopping. So this is more of a kind of a classic hoodoo that almost um, in the center bottom where you have a, a kind of a, a pedestal with a cap rock on top. That's almost classic hoodoo. Now most of these hoodoos around here do not have that kind of sphinx-like look to it. So it, it may well be that single formation we saw a moment ago that um, had a very sphinx-like look to it that is how this place got its name. So you can see these kind of long linear features or fins that um, form the spine of uh, the back of uh, the um, hoodoos. It looks like this formation in front of us has lost its cap rock. So you can see this was uh, in the winter time, early January, and it was frickin' cold. It was like 14 Fahrenheit, what, about minus 9 Celsius. Up in the top left-hand corner, you see a hoodoo that kind of looks like a hammer standing on end. And there it is towards the center right. These, uh, these hoodoo rock formations are <clears throat> mostly fairly soft rock. It's, it's certainly not granite or any of the harder rocks, um, and they do weather pretty quickly. Heading uphill here, this is several hundred feet higher. You can see that uh, hammer rock again towards the left corner. And 
well, it wasn't a several hundred feet, it was probably just about 100 feet. So doing a kind of a, um, a panning move here to get a good view of the, the, the main area. Flying over them. You can see how soft those um, formations are. <clears throat> All right, coming towards the end here, so it's a little last little panning move, and that's the end. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, got an idea of what the place is like, and thanks for watching.